Hey guys, welcome to another um, video on the channel. We are somewhere in Batangas. We're at the beach house. And of course, when you're at the beach house, you have to get up early and take advantage of this. Oh my God. The beach is so calm. And yeah, it's just, it's just different, right? Um, we're gonna make some coffee and enjoy the view. So I'm just gonna prepare the, the things that I need first. Um, let's take out the scale. I don't think we need to set up the table um, anymore. So I just need my stove. Um, the wind is kind of picking up, so the stove is having a hard time. We're gonna use this coffee from Escolta Coffee Company. Um, I actually did. So, I actually did my first Sunday recipe. So, it's a new series that I'm starting um, where I teach you um, specifics and particular ways and techniques on um, different recipes that I use for different coffees. So there is not, there is no one ultimate recipe for everything, for every coffee. So this is where I would, because I normally explore different recipes. I normally try different things when I'm brewing my coffee, um, especially if they're new coffees. So I have a different way of brewing this coffee with this brewer and with this grinder. So in every coffee that I buy, I have different techniques on how to best brew them. So in that new series, The Sunday Recipe, it's gonna be a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to best brew this type of, um, this specific coffee that I'm featuring, right? So. Yeah, if you want to see that video, I'll put up the link here. We we're gonna brew this Sicho San Roque Naturals CR95 from Escolta Coffee Company. I'm just gonna brew um, 15 grams. Let's do 15 grams. By the way, if you are new to the channel, um, Escolta Coffee Company features local beans. So they champion local coffees so if you want to try them out i will leave the link on their website in the description below we're doing 23 clicks on the commandante x25 trail master oh yeah if you haven't noticed i'm using a lily drip lc7 oh l7c uh -huh. It's a foldable crank handle for your Comandante. I think the water is done. Um, we're gonna use the Porigami again. Yeah, so it's a foldable dripper and it's this thin. It is made up of um, three different components that you put together in order for you to create your own dripper yeah there so i have a triangle dripper now we're gonna need this um cup of the aeropress as my carafe and this triangle dripper only uses a regular conical um, paper filter so we are at 90 this coffee in particular that Sicho San Roque CR95. Um, it's actually available in Blue Bottle. So, so Blue Bottle, the coffee company from the US, um, they have this heritage 
Heritage series where they feature like different coffee beans from different cultures. And one of those coffees is um, from the Philippines. And this is the coffee from the Philippines that they have in blue bottle. So it's Sicho San Roque CR95. And the best Sicho San Roque beans that I've tried is from Escolta Coffee Company. Yeah, no kidding. Um, I've tried uh, different Sicho San Roque beans from other roasters. <clears throat> there are only a handful of roasters that sells this, but the best is for me. That's just for me. That's just, that's my opinion. The best one that I've tried is from uh, Escolta Coffee Company. All right, so we're gonna start this. We're gonna start brewing. Um, I, I actually really like this um, dripper because it lets me it lets me brew on a conical paper filter. Yet I don't I don't compromise on the size of the brewer. And I really love this Hario kettle. It's very small, yet it gives me the quality and the precision that I need from a full-sized um, gooseneck kettle. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's not as good. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking because I didn't have my water. Yeah, I used the water from from the house. Yeah, the coffee is good, but don't get me wrong, it's not as good. <laughs> yeah, but I drink this, yeah. This Sicho San Roque is actually very fruity. The flavor profile of this Sicho San Roque is a lot like sweet jackfruit, um, green mangoes, and you get this you get this long aftertaste of pomelo. Yeah, right now I'm not getting the jackfruit. It's only the green mangoes and the long aftertaste of pomelo. So, yeah, I'd take it. Um, I think I'm gonna have to end the video right here. If you have any questions, if you have, please leave them down in the comment section below. Um, yeah, if you, if you wanna know more about these gears, um comment down below in the comment section down below yeah but for now thank you so much for watching in the next videos i'm gonna show you more about coffee bye